Yes. I really don't understand what there is to think about. Arthur's been gone these eight months. Can't grieve forever. You're not getting any younger. Yes, thank you, Robert. Do you have any idea how lucky you are? Wilson could have his pick of, you know, and he chose you. You'll never want for anything, Alice. And you have George to think about? Yes, I know. Arthur was a good man, but he did not leave you two with much. We never needed much. No. Suppose not in the wilds of wherever he dragged you? India and Ireland are hardly uncharted territory. I can't imagine how you put up with it, or what sort of education was available to George. You even know Wilson. Really. Nonsense. Our families have known each other for years. Besides, plenty of time to know him when you're married. I don't know if I want to marry anyone. Alice, think of George. You'll have the best education money and, and have opportunities yes, that would never be available yes. to him. He needs a father. He has an uncle. Not the same. A boy needs a father to guide him and show him how to become a gentleman and make his way in the world. Alice, where are you going? Excuse me a moment, Robert. Alice! It is you, isn't it? What am I doing? Hello? Where are you? It is you, isn't it? Hello? Ma'am? Ma'am? Yes, Jane, I heard you yelling. Ma'am, you have a visitor. They're early, aren't they? No, no, no. It's not Lord Dudley. It's... Well, he's rather peculiar. He said he was a, uh, a Mr. Hatter. Here's his card. Mr. A.D. Hatter. Mad Hatter. <laughs> if only. Ma'am? Uh, nothing. I wonder who he is. Uh, do you want me to escort him out? I thought he was off. Uh, no. No, thank you, Jane. I don't like the look of him. Hello, Mr. Hello? I thought we were playing hide and seek. You're a very bad seeker. <clears throat> Your hair wants cutting. I'm not sure, but I think it's impolite to stare. I'm sorry. Sorry, but you can't be. It, it's impossible. How are you? Very well, thank you. And how are you? No, I mean, you can't be here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, where should I be? Oh, um, do you have any tea? I, but you live in a rabbit hole. Now, now. You're friends with the Dormouse and a March Hare. I could say quite a lot about the company that you keep, but I shan't uh, for the moment. Lord Dudley's here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Shall I let him in? No! Uh, yes! Slowly. Jane, please. Yes, ma'am. Quick! You've got to go! Uh, no! Tag! You're it! No, they can't see you here! Nowhere well, should they see me? Nowhere! Ever. Oh, Alice! Hello. I um, was unaware that you had company. Uh, this is mad. Um, the hat. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. A.D. Hatter of the Hatter Export Company. Lord Dudley. And this is my family solicitor, Mr. Dobson. Oh! So what exactly do you export, Mr. Hatter? Um, uh, Tea? Uh, tea, exactly. I export tea. In fact, a cup of tea would do me very nicely. Uh, thank you, Jane. So, will you uh, be joining us? No, he can't. He's very busy exporting. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, and so sorry, you can't stay for tea. Well, my dear, for you, I will make an exception. Oh, well, I wonder must, what must be keeping the tea. Please, make your
yourselves comfortable. Shall be a moment. Not you. <laughs> Bit of a bore, that one. <laughs> Lord Dudley, my God! <laughs> Jane T, please. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's go back. No! Uh, stay right here. Please don't move. Oh, statues! I love that game. Um, how about this? Wonderful. Stay just like that. Don't move. Tell me, did you bring any of your friends with you? Like the March Hare? Oh, Lord, no! He's not suitable company. Oh, well, good. But the Dormouse simply insisted, and I just couldn't refuse him. Dormouse? Tea, here it is. Though they'll complain about it like always. Too hot, too cold. Uh, yes, thank you, Jane. Dormouse? Where? Is the Dormouse? Asleep. Where? Don't you remember anything? In the teapot. What teapot? The that teapot. The Jane just? Yes, that Jane just. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Statues. Right. Remember? Right. I forgot how much fun she is. No! <laughs> what in heaven's name? Wait. The tea, it's. It's hot. No, it's not. I, wait, please, I don't want you to burn yourselves. Uh, Alice, uh, your friend, Mr. Hatter, how do you know him? Uh, childhood. We've been friends since childhood in India. Ah, uh, yes, you were there several years with your aunt. Yes, that's right. Uh, we've kept in touch ever since. Peculiar fellow. You can say that again. Excuse me. Well, we are here to finalize terms of a wedding, yes? Uh, sorry? Alice, I believe I've been extraordinarily patient. And I know you feel you are not ready. However, it is high time things were set in order. I do know it's best for you and your son. Quite right. Shall we continue? On the 12th of June, Alice LaDocre shall wed Lord Wilson Dudley. So soon? The Dudleys have always been married on the 12th of June. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Forgive me, I must still have a cold. Well, as we were discussing... Uh, uh, excuse me, the tea has... Cold. It's really not, you know, it's perfect. Jane! Excuse me. Are you quite sure you want to go through with this wedding? I mean, she's going to be a representation of the Dudley name. I'm really quite fond of her. I shall put it right. Remember, she's been out of proper society for so long. All right, living with that aunt of hers. I heard she was mad. Maybe it runs in the family. Uh, her, her late husband trotted her all about, and I'm sure she found herself mingling with very unsuitable characters. Look at that friend of hers, Mr. Hatter. <laughs> He's quite bohemian. I don't like it. Oh, rest assured. After she's Lady Dudley, she shall not associate with that sort. 